good evening to everyone. Feliz Año Nuevo and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, here's hoping for the best in 2015 to everyone. Uh, along with the usual holiday programs and concerts last month that were well attended by our community, our students and staff worked to support some families in need by providing gifts and food. And they were joined in the endeavor by Maricopa County Sheriff's Department, who also donated gifts to some families. Um, sites collected non-perishable food items, which were donated to St. Mary's Food Bank. Toys were collected and donated to Luke Air Force Base in the Toys for Tots program. So we're very proud of all of our staff and members of our community for the things they do to reach out to the less fortunate. Um, other big news is the governor's main theme of his first um, state of the state, and that was fiscal responsibility. That usually means they're going to spend less. Um, as it relates to K-12 education, the governor focused on his support for requiring high school students to pass a civics test to graduate. We're not sure what that will look like yet. And uh, creating the Arizona Public Achievement District to allow charter schools to occupy unused and underused school buildings. He also said he wants to scrub administrative costs, even though Arizona has the lowest uh, per pupil administration in the nation. Unfortunately, we think this is because he includes nurses and librarians, uh, custodians, counselors, bus drivers, diesel fuel, water, and electricity in his calculations. So we're anxious to see what the new Classrooms First Initiative Council, who serves at his pleasure, uh, comes up with. It'll include one uh, school superintendent, uh, I think of 10 or 11 or 12, 13 people. Uh, and that's probably all there will be from traditional community schools on that council. So we're anxious to see who they single out for elimination. In addition, uh, the governor called for the legislature to settle the Cave Creek v. Ducey lawsuit on inflation funding by saying it's time to pay teachers, not lawyers. Um, now, the governor said there's over 400,000 empty seats in the school system, and we're not sure how he counted those. Um, but he said they shouldn't be wasted. At the same time, he said he wanted to make more capital available to charter schools so they could build more space. Um, he's, he will unveil his budget on Friday, which will provide more detailed information on his education priorities, but um, we're not expecting the children in the Littleton Learning Community to be high on this list. Currently, the overall district attendance rate is up at 95.9%, which is an improvement over where we ended up uh, the school year last year. During the second semester, the Communications Committee will have a subcommittee working on attendance, and the district has received some donations. They'll be working on incentives for students as well as continuing our work with the United Way and the Attendance Works Project to raise awareness about the importance of students being at school each day. Um, Country Place and Trace Reels currently have clubs meeting focusing on STEAM education. Over 60 students involved between the two schools participate in project-based exploration centers, uh, learning on how science and engineering are part of everyday life. Some of the projects include the engineering of bottle rockets, water wheels, egg drops, roller coasters, and the students will have an opportunity to participate in regional competition uh, next month in February at ASU. And if they advance, it'll be to the state competition to Tucson in April. So good luck to them. Congratulations are in order for the 2014 flag football and volleyball district champions. Trace Rios Pumas flag football team finished off an undefeated system with a undefeated season, excuse me, with a convincing win over the Estrella Vista Hawks in the championship game. They represented their school with great effort and sportsmanship all season. Great job, Pumas. The Quinton Sharks volleyball team played their hearts out to take down the undefeated Littleton Firebirds in the championship game. These ladies were full of tenacity all year and played as a great team to win the championship. Great job, Lady Sharks. Um, soccer season is underway, and the games will start the week of January 19th. So that's not very far away. All the games will be played at Friendship Park. A big thank you goes to the city of Avondale for allowing us to use their fields all year and providing our students a safe place to play. Uh, finally, in closing, I'd like to express our appreciation to the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, University of Phoenix for their donation of tickets to Trace Rios and Estrella Vista for their donation of funds for uniforms, to James DeYoung and Tamara Akers for the donation of funds for Collier Reading Books, to uh, Katie Spice, Spice, 
I'm not sure if I said that right, for the donation of supplies, tracer, art program. And that's all I have this evening.